So this is some of the things to remember that when you are looking to buy a commercial property that you understand exactly what it is zoned for and how the property can be used. And this, of course, is important for any type of property you're looking to buy. You need to understand the zoning for that property and how that property can be used. If you're not familiar with the zoning laws, then you'll need to go to your local um, municipality and the government to find out exactly what the zoning laws are for the area that you're planning to have your property. Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch, where we talk about all things to do with real estate. Today, we're going to answer a question called, can you legally live in a commercial property? And this is sort of an interesting question because, you know, today with the remote work, you know, where people are talking about they're working from home, what if you flip it and you say, can I live in my office? Like, in other words, I want to be in my office. Can I go live in my office instead of, you know, instead of living in my home? Can I make my office my home? Well, the truth is that... You cannot just live in a property that's zoned for commercial property, especially in the United States. Now, if you're living in another part of the world, this may not be such of an issue. But in the United States, many places are extremely strict about this. They usually fall under the state and also the county and municipality jurisdictions. So, you know, you cannot just, you know, you cannot just move into commercial property in the United States. You know, the reason is that zoning and other laws must be concerned. Most commercial properties are zoned by the state or city where you reside to be commercial property. The area is zoned for commercial property or areas reserved for businesses. I'd like to point out that I live in Asia and where in Asia where I live, this is not quite so strict. In fact, you may find that there are many factories that where they may, you know, have a house or other building for employees to be able to live there. But in a place like the United States, this can really be quite strict. If your business is operating legally, that means your business is probably located in a commercial use or site that's commercially zoned. And then it also means because it's commercially zoned, that the zoning regulations will usually say that your property can only be used for a commercial property. But then, of course, this is where it can get a little fuzzy or difficult. In fact, you know, there could be some properties which could have two zones that could be zoned for personal and for commercial. For example, near my parents' house in Wisconsin, there's a bar located on a corner. And on the opposite corner is a gas station. Next to it is a small store. But above this bar is a residence. So even though we live in an area that has some stringent um, zoning laws, I assume that this was probably has mixed zoning, especially for this building, because they have permission to have a residence above the bar. So it could be that maybe because they've had a residence for a long time, the city's allowed them to continue to have a residence, even though they're kind of in a commercial area. So you can only legally move into a commercial building if it's also zoned for residential purposes. So in other words, if you have a commercial building or you have a property that is zoned for two types of purposes, another it's zoned for residential and for, for commercial purposes, then you can be able to live in that building. But if you are in a building that is only zoned for commercial, then you, you cannot live in that building. It's the same thing for residential. If you're in an area that's residential, then a lot of times you cannot run a business out of your home or only certain types of businesses out of your home. You, know, you certainly can't have people be coming into your home to, you know, like as a retail store or something like that. So you really need to understand the zoning laws, and especially if you're living in the United States, you need to understand the zoning laws. You need to understand that the zoning laws are very important and can dictate what you can or cannot do with your building or your real property. That even though you own the real property, you do not necessarily have the right to use the real property in any way you want to because of the fact that the zoning laws can also decide how that property can be used. So this is the, some of the things to remember that when you are looking to buy a commercial property, that you understand exactly what it is zoned for and how the property can be used. And this, of course, is important for any type of property you're looking to buy. You need to understand the zoning for that property and how that property can be used. If you're not familiar with the zoning laws, then you'll need to go to your local 
a municipality and the government to find out exactly what the zoning laws are for the area that you're planning to have your property. This is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. I will put a link to the a blog that I wrote, which is entitled, Can You Legally Live in a Commercial Property? In case you'd like to be able to learn more about this. We'd like to thank our team, especially Rico, who helped put this together. And thank all of you for being part of our community. We appreciate you. Mm-hmm.